Hello Pisces, welcome to your uh, weekly reading for June 6th to the 12th. This is for Pisces Sun and Rising. Now, while this is a general reading, I use astrology, tarot, and my guides to lead your reading. And the reason I use astrology is because astrology and tarot go hand in hand. And it's also so we can get a little bit more specific with what's going on. Now, Pisces, listen, two things that I want you to take away from this reading from this week. First, Mars and Jupiter and Aries, okay? So we had Jupiter in your sign for, you know, the beginning of the year, going back to the end of the year. But listen, this is all about taking action for the things that you want. And it looks like the things that you want is going to come because Venus is in Taurus. So that's all about desire. Listen, Pisces, Jupiter and Mars are in your second house of earned income. So you could see a lot of, a lot of movement, all right, toward getting that salary that you deserve. Secondly, uh, Venus and Taurus, that's your third house and it rules a lot of different things, okay? It, do, it does rule like uh, mostly communications, but there's also siblings. You might see uh, activity with siblings. You might see some activity with even traveling a short distance this week. There's a lot of things, but again, that's why uh, we're going to use some tarot to see what is going on for you this week. The last thing I want to tell you, well, two more things I want to tell you. One is that Mercury did go back into orbit, which is great for us, right? Uh, but Saturn did go retrograde. Now, I don't want you to, this isn't like a huge thing. All I want you to do for you, Pisces, uh, Sun and Rising, what I want you to do this week is I want you to spend some time thinking about where you are in your life now and where you want to go moving forward, but also thinking about how your life has been and what you can do to change it to get toward you know, your dreams and your wishes and, and all the things you want to manifest, okay? Because Saturn is the ruler of, of everything. He's a leader, right? Leadership and rulership and authority and rules and uh, even karma. So that's why we need to spend some time thinking of that. Secondly, the theme of this week is it's about damn time. And the reason why that is the theme of the week is because I want you to be able to say by the end of the month, it's about damn time I got what I deserved, all right? So, Pisces, that said, uh, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. I have given this a really good shuffle. Uh, this is for Pisces, Sun, and Rising, June 6th to the 12th. Now, I do a traditional Celtic cross spread. It's what my clients prefer. If you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me. Um, everything's in the descriptions. Also, you know, there are a couple other things happening astrologically this week, and you can find them in the description. I put all the key dates there. They're good. Don't worry. They're good. They're good aspects, all right? So, uh, Pisces. Wow. Uh, oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. All right. How do I even start with this? You got four major arcanas. Um, all right, so, oh gosh. And I'm gonna bring the cards up. I got this new light thing and it, let me just see if it gives it less. Yeah, it doesn't, anyway. I'm gonna pull the cards up to the screen as we go. Okay, so uh, you're in a really good place. This is going to be actually a very significant week for you, an extremely significant week for you. Um, you got the hermit, okay? so. You may have spent some time in the past few days, in the past few weeks or months, you may have spent some time doing a little soul searching. I love that. I love that for you, okay? This is all about some, you know, the hermit, he climbed the top of the mountain, he, he made it to the top and he made all these accomplishments, but now he's just like, what next, okay? So you can see he has the lantern in front of him, but the lantern, you can only see so far with lantern light, right? So where do you find the rest of the light? How do you see further than that? You look inside you. So. You removed yourself for some people. You did some soul searching. Good for you, Pisces. I love that. Also, it brought you to this moment. This is, I I honestly can't, like, this is amazing. So, uh, you, did, uh, you did get the judgment card, okay? This is one of my favorite cards. This is you having a moment of clarity this week. You're gonna have that aha moment. You're gonna have that, uh, this is all about an awakening, okay? You can see Archangel Gabrielle blowing her trumpet here and the dead are arising to the sound of the trumpet. Now, listen, this has so much spiritual con uh, connotations to it, but this is you, this is you hearing the call of the trumpet. Now, if you want to get really, really into quantum physics here, into the vibration, okay, of sound, into the energy of sound, I mean, this is 
when you hear the calling, you hear the calling and it really does have an impact on your vibrational levels. Now sound, listen, I'm not even going to, okay, sure, wait, I'll do it. It goes back. It goes back to uh, these these beats from Gr Gregorian chant to Tibetan monks to, to, to uh, Native American drumming. There is so much healing in sound. Okay, this is great. I love that you got this for you because what does healing do? Healing raises our vibration levels and you are really going to get, you're going to tap into that this week because you are going to, it's going to help you wake up and, and see things and see what you, and you just have that moment. You're like, now I know. Uh, listen, this is funny because you did get the fool too crossing you. So the fool is really, I mean, huge, strong energy, huge, new, fresh beginning kind of energy here in the full protection of the sun, but because you got in the challenge area, it is just saying right now with this awakening, make sure it is, make sure you know what you want. Do not even mess around now. Know what you want, okay? Because the fool, when it comes up in the challenge area, this is all about taking a leap of faith, but you really don't want to do that jump without... You want to be careful with that leap. Do you know what I mean? But it really just comes back to your the heart of the matter, the judgment card, that having that awakening that will help you take that leap of faith in the direction that you want to go, okay? So... This is like really look, look before it, 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 not look before you leap. This is saying not look before you leap, but with it challenge, it says look before you leap. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But, um, and I wouldn't even at the end of the day, okay, listen, the biggest takeaway from this is just saying this awakening is hugely, hugely, hugely important for you and the fool crossing you just. Make sure you know what you want. Make sure you hear the call right. Make sure you take the vibration, the energy vibrations really, really high. And don't be distracted. Don't do anything foolish, okay? Or that's really like, honestly, it's, it, it doesn't get, especially with a restier spread. And I don't see you doing anything like that. It just say, it's more like a, a heads up, if anything. Now, let's get to your two of swords, okay? You are probably possibly making some sort of decision right now that you don't want to make, and this is why maybe this decision has not been made, okay? The two of swords is, you can see she's blindfolded, you can see there's so much energy around her, uh, emotional energy, all this water surrounding her, you see that sliver of the moon. Trust your instincts now, Pisces, okay? I think that's going to help, okay? I think this awakening is going to help in the fact that you have done some soul searching to get to this place, all right? You also got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is really all about sharing. This is the heart of the tree of life, okay? So you can see this is, there's a perfect balance between giving and receiving here. And that is where you're at. This is a lot of things that uh, that are coming in here is new, uh, a new direction, but also a new awareness, okay? You're really coming into your own Pisces, and I love that for you, especially because look at where you're ending up. The Emperor, you're going to be sitting in this throne. The Emperor, take a look. He is the daddy of the tarot deck. He is the ruler of the tarot deck. He is sitting in that throne, crown for victory, success, long white beard for wisdom, okay? Oh my goodness, everything is just leading up to where you're going to be. Red cloak for passion. You can see he is fully protected underneath that cloak with uh, armor. He has the world in one hand, the Egyptian onk representing life in the other. Like, come on, this is crazy. So when I say take action to get what you want, really take action this week. You, This really is like, you. we have a huge, huge... Uh, window of opportunity this week. I'm not even joking. Take action this week. It looks like you will now that you have this awakening, okay? Huge Aries energy here, okay? Remember Jupiter and Aries. And I am getting the message again, money. It is money that y'all want. Some of y'all want money, money, money. Put it toward it. This awakening could have been like, oh gosh, I know uh, now this is not the job that I like and I want to do this. I know it's going to make me more money. Or Oh gosh, I know that I can take this course and this is going to supplement my income, you know, by this much every month. These are kinds of awakenings, but you know, it is a spiritual awakening, but whatever it is, do it to a point where it is just taking you to a higher level, all right? Nirvana, love and above, all right? Listen, let's get to your stuff, okay? 
If you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. I love you Pisces, and it really does help my channel grow. All right, so uh, I love that you got another, uh, gosh, okay. Let's start with the Ten of Swords, Pisces. This I love that you have this, okay? Because, Pisces, this is saying that any sort of challenge, and sure, I know it's a, 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 a strong word, but pain and struggles that you have endured, I want you to know that it's all coming to an end, okay? Ten is the end. I know this card looks very scary, but ten is the end, all right? So you will never have to experience that heartache that you've gone through again in that way, all right? This is showing that uh, you can see, I want, this is how I want you to see it. You see these swords, I want you to see it as aligning the chakras, all right? So remember, rebirth, new beginning, you got the awakening. New beginning, new awakening. This is the end of one part of your life. This uh, challenge that you've been experiencing, you're having this awakening, you're moving forward, you're learning from it. Good for you. Now, three of cups. It's all about victory, all about celebration. You will be celebrating something soon, and I'm very happy for you, but I want you to know the biggest takeaway from this card is bonding, all right? So I want you to spend some time with your friends. I want you to spend some time with your family. I want you to just celebrate with them, and even if you're not celebrating anything, I want you to just get together and celebrate life, okay? The uh, bond. This is all about um, the birth of new ideas, the raising raising our energy levels to a higher form and to a higher degree through that form of bonding, just laughing and smiling and learning from your you know about yourself through this form of bonding. This is great, and this is happening for you soon. I love that. I love that for you. Okay, you did get this seven of wands. So I think that some Pisces have this fear of. You've worked really hard and you don't want it taken away. You feel like maybe there's something that happened in the past that was there was like a similar pattern forming. You can break that pattern because all I have to say is that no one's taking anything away from you. All right. This is the you can see that he's defending his territory. He's defending everything that he's worked for. All right. People are coming after him, but he's doing a damn good job. And this is all about just dignity and just really just having that resilience and just just fighting everyone off. And when I say people come from, it can be as little as like Twitter trolls, all right? But it could be someone like maybe your boss who, you know, or colleagues who, I don't know, maybe they're just jealous of you because this is a big jealousy card. The reason why these people are coming for him, which is y'all, is because they are jealous of his successes. This follows um, the Six of Wands, which is all about victory and success and achievement. So this is a really standing your ground, and this is something that uh, I want you to know moving forward for this week. No one's taking anything from you. No one's taking anything from you, all right? Um, temperance. At the end of the day, you got the temperance. Now, this is really interesting because, uh, well, yeah, there it is. You got two scales here, okay? Well, she doesn't have a scale. She doesn't have a scale, but this is all about balance, all right? <laughs> this is all about, I was thinking justice for some reason, not someone with this scale, but um, she, these really go hand in hand, okay? So this is all about balance. This is all about moderation. This is all about taking things slow and steady, step by step, not rushing into anything too quickly because everything is working in this order, this order that is making sense for you. So I want you to appreciate that. I want you to just know that. I want you to know that moment, okay? Now, other thing about this is just when I say balance, this is really like she was known as the alchemist back in the day, right? Just all those ingredients, knowing those ingredients to make the perfect recipe of success and of everything that you want. This, when I say balance, that's what I mean here, all right? So listen, this is really good energy. This is all about just taking things like in a pace that makes sense for you. This is, listen, you are going to have this arising, all right? Listen to the blow, the, the blow of the trumpet. It really, those sound frequencies really help. And at the end of the day, you are going to be sitting in this throne. Remember what I said for this week. It's about damn time. I got what I deserve. Pisces, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you next week.